and friends, today I'm here to read you an informational text called Your Heart and Blood by Julie Hayden. Now remember, informational text means it's nonfiction, true information about the real world. Your Heart and Blood. There's the title, the author's name, Julie Hayden, and here we go with the table of contents. I know you all know that the table of contents is here to tell us where to find specific information in the book we're about to read. Let's begin. A strong muscle. A strong muscle pumps blood around your body all day and all night. It will, it will beat all your life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. Your heart. The strong muscle is your heart. Notice that they've labeled this picture heart. Your heart pumps blood around your body. It pumps blood while you sleep, eat, play, and work. Your heart is in your chest. It's protected by your ribs. They've labeled ribs and heart. They've put sort of a, a diagram on top of a photograph of a child so you can imagine and, and really see what it looks like on the inside. Your heart is a little bit bigger than your fist. Can you make a fist? So look at your fist and go, wow, my heart is even a little bit bigger than this. Your ribs protect your heart. A closer look. Your heart has four different parts. Number one, top right, number two, top left, number three, bottom right, and number four, bottom left. So there are the four parts. Your blood. Your blood moves around and around your body. Your blood carries oxygen that you breathe in. Oxygen goes into your lungs and then into your blood. Your blood also carries nutrients from the food you eat. Nutrients are the vitamins and minerals and things we need to eat to keep us healthy. Your blood vessels. Your blood moves around your body tubes, in tubes. These tubes are called blood vessels. The blood vessels in your body are different sizes. Now here's another diagram with an image on top so you can really imagine the blood vessels inside your body. The largest blood vessels are the arteries. Veins are also large blood vessels. Large blood vessels split into smaller and smaller blood vessels. They carry oxygen and nutrients in your blood to your cells. This is labeled blood vessels, so you can imagine what the blood vessel looks like. Your blood vessels get smaller and smaller. How your heart works. Your blood flows into the top parts of your heart at the same time. Number one, some of your blood needs to get oxygen. Number two, some of your blood has oxygen in it. Here we go. Some of your blood needs to get oxygen. That's right here where that's happening. And some of your blood needs to get oxygen in it. Then your blood is pumped into the bottom parts of your heart. This blood has no oxygen in it. It is pumped into the bottom right of your heart. This blood, number two, this blood has oxygen in it. It is pumped into the bottom left of your heart. So here's our diagram, which is labeled again to help make all this new information clear to us. Number one, blood is pumped into the bottom right of your heart. It has no oxygen in it. And number two, blood is pumped into the bottom left of your heart. It has oxygen in it. Your healthy heart. Keep your heart healthy, do exercise and eat healthy foods and don't eat too much fat eat too much sugar and salt exercise to stay healthy oh i miss exercising with you every day in our classroom can you tell me what are you doing to exercise and stay healthy at home and friends this brings us to our glossary and index the glossary names off words that we might not know that we read. One word that I was a little unsure about 
was nutrients. And I see a word that starts with n, n, n here, nutrients. Parts of food that your body uses for growth and energy. Oh, so we need those nutrients from our healthy foods to grow and have energy. The index here tells us where we can find those tricky words in the book if we want to go back and look at them. Thanks for learning all about our hearts with me today. I hope you're staying healthy and exercising and having a good time at home. I miss you, buddies.